observe present in Mariupol. I am actually sure that very unfortunately we will see more awful pictures. So I hope that all democratic countries, including the United States, will fight to move forward us and Putin has big funds. Maria, we were just showing pictures from the UN Security Council. We saw the Russian ambassador giving his comments now. Ukrainian and Russian officials have been negotiating. As you see aggression like this, brutality like this by the Russian military under the command of senior Russian officials and the President Vladimir Putin, can Ukraine still negotiate with Russia? Uh, first of all, let me also express my emotions, but of course uh, we are very grateful to American nation with support and also uh, American authorities with all the support we have had, but it's uh, not enough. And we also appreciate your certain initiative together with Britain uh, Brit, uh, uh, to exclude Russia yeah, from uh, the Human uh, Rights Council, and we really are looking forward about the result. Uh, because you know, UN must be <laughs> must be held accountable. You know, when we see a, a lot of countries they abstain, and we just would like you know, I'm addressing because we're still voting that now, uh, like supporting criminals, it's also a crime, and uh, that is why we're getting more passion. And we will end the whole world, uh, you know, shocked by the trends in Russia. Uh, even today, uh, there is viruses, you know, find, killed, still killed people in Bucha in the houses, in the yards. They were tortured, raped. And our criminal specialists, uh, you know, they document these crimes, but the atrocities against, um, by, they are shocked by these atrocities against girls, girls who were raped, women killed, and you, you also, we saw all your videos. That is why this is really crimes against humanity. And we would like, you know, the whole world cannot ex uh, also imagine what we will see in Baradanka today. It's the next town after Bucha. It's even worse. The General Prosecutor Office has mentioned this. So, and of course, Mariupol, I mean, we, we, we even cannot imagine this horrible thing. That is why all the steps are getting. And when you're asking me, about negotiation, uh, of course, president is trying to do, and political leaders, uh, they are trying, you know, to deliver all the messages that we need to punish and to kick out, you know, to push out Russian troops from our territory. I think that, of course, now, uh, I mean, for me, I just can can imagine these negotiations with the war of terrorists. Uh, that is why. I think that first ceasefire, because just uh, we have just got uh, uh, against Sirena on our phones, the whole regions of Ukraine, and uh, at least negotiations probably on humanitarian corridors. But uh, when at the beginning your program uh, all withdraw or pushed out, I'd like to underline Russian troops were kicking out from Kiev region uh, to Belarus. They were not withdraw. Do not, do not, do not believe them. I, I kindly ask you because we know all the manipulations and lies, which will be, by the way, also in UN now. Yeah, we've reported that many times that this was the result of Russian losses around Kiev and not uh, any of them. Thank you. Discovering God, uh, right? Suddenly, let us see. I do want to ask you, given what you've seen and, and the world is witnessing in Bucha, and, and we may see in Mariupol and other, many other parts of Ukraine, who do you trust to investigate? and prosecute any war crimes? Is it the UN? Is it a special tribunal? Do you trust the EU? Is it Ukraine on its own? Uh, you know, of course, uh, I support that opinion that it could be uh, 